This is Blessa and I'm happy to be back with another video and today I'm gonna show you what's inside my Happy Meal or a pineapple letter. So as you can hear I'm doing this voiceover with no script at all and in British accent. <laughs> so yeah anyway yeah, as you can see here I'm gathering or tearing up um, old book pages I like to give my pen poles um, something like this, um, paper scraps and like this, old book pages. You may not know it, but for us crafties or crafters, whatever, this kind of stuff is very much useful to us because, you know, there's no such thing as junk as long as it's paper. <laughs> So I'm just piling up this papers. I love old book pages. I use them for whatever, um, so my journals or handmade envelopes. And I pack it with this um, craft tissue paper. I love it so much. And this gum tape. Now I designed the front with this another old book page. A dictionary and a burlap and this uh, green sticky note putting a label label just putting old book pages as its label I'm still practicing my calligraphy though I like to combine two envelopes for the main letter and, and this is where I also put my freebies like stickers and ephemeras and such so yeah this is how it looks um, firstly this is an ordinary white baronial envelope but I like to coffee dye it and put in some washi tapes to make it old looking and to protect it I put this craft board as its cover and I want it to be like a sort of a flip book style little piece of board to flip it. I cut the point to a curve and this is a coffee dyed parchment paper and I like to I like to make it a mini pocket for my flip book and here I'm putting my handmade paper. Another pocket parchment paper on the other side of the cover and this is where I put my business cards and some tags and some tags and here I made another packet out of a book page and this is where I put the dried flowers and here I'm hanging the dried sampagita flowers. At the back of the cover I just stamped my logo and wrote Love Blesser. Here I'm just putting a note saying I don't know if, it, if my handmade papers are usable to my pen poles because this is only my first try in making handmade papers and I'm afraid it's a bit not so good, but whatever. <laughs> I 
and here I got this Chinese book from my secondhand bookstore and I like to make envelopes out of it and as you may have noticed I liked I really like to use this gum tape water activated tape and I basically can't live without it And here are my tickets, Ephemeris I tea dyed them to make it look older. And I'm gonna seal the envelope with another gum tape. Making another pocket for the stickers. This time it's an old book page again gathering my stickers and sealing it with the water activated tape just designing the envelope some more putting stamps and stickers And here I'm just going to design the cover of my flip book and write the name of my pen pole, which is Maffet. Maffet. And I like to put in uh, this dried flowers, I dried myself. And to attach this, I like to stamp it with this melted wax seal. Just making washi tape samples and putting it on the other envelope so I'm gonna set aside the flip book first so I just rub my hands with alcohol for hygiene purposes because I'm wrapping some face masks so here I'm including one non-woven washable face mask and one surgical mask wrapping it up again with um, tissue paper and I like to design the front and label it as you can see I'm improving my calligraphy here To make it look cuter, I put jute strings. Look how cute! And I just finished my letters and put it in the left side envelope. To finish it off, I put this, I don't know what it's called, but I think it's a jute lace ribbon, I don't know. So to protect these, I just wrapped it with the scrap paper, put in my logo and wrote package for Mafid. And now it's ready to ship. I hope you like this video and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!